All right, guys, so welcome to Digital Coats of Paint. Um, this morning, we, we're going to do something just a little different. Um, we want to talk about kind of overcoming the dog days of summer. Um, and part of the reason this came up is that it is July. Traditionally, July uh, tends to slow down uh, pretty significantly in terms of sometimes our ability to reach out and contact people, people's customers' availability, etc. So we wanted to have an open discussion with everybody today about ways we can overcome this right now. We know that, you know, again, traditionally July dips, but we, you know, August and September are going to come here before we know it. Uh, the fall is going to be here. Things are going to take off very quickly. So we want to open up the floor to everyone to maybe discuss some strategies on what we can do right now to get some activity movement, to get some, some prospecting into our pipelines. So today we want to hear some from you. We're going to open the floor up. We would really want to hear back feedback from everybody, um, you know, especially those people who have been through this before. It doesn't matter if it's print, doesn't matter if it's digital. Those of you that have been through this before, we need to hear from you. How have you overcome these things? How have you overcome these slow periods? And what have you done that's different, that's outside of the box thinking, that helps move things forward and moves prospects into your pipeline? So we're going to have an activity exercise at the end of this, and then we're going to have a Q&A and, and follow-up. Okay? Any questions? No? All right. So overcoming these summer blots, what I'd like to hear from somebody, I'd like somebody to speak to you know speak up and you know otherwise you know Brett and I we can pick some some volunteers here of course <clears throat> we want to hear some, some success stories what are some stra strategies that you've done that have really worked um, some good summer targets I, I put together some ideas Brett put together some ideas but you know you guys are out there on the road what are some good summer targets that you've come across as well we are open to some suggestions here Let's work together as a team. We really got to get on top of this. Again, prospecting is low right now, and, and we need to see movement, you know, in our pipelines. So, you know, what do you have some? What do you have idea-wise? Objection help. You know, again, I know people are out of town, or people don't really want to talk right now. But what are some things we can do to overcome some objection help, or some objections that we're running into? Um, and then, you know, again, advice on planning. You know, um, we're really looking for some outside of the box thinking and and some ways to, to overcome these next, you know, several weeks when it is, or next few weeks when it is a little bit slow. So we'd like to open up the floor. I'd like people to volunteer and speak up here. What have you run into in the summer that has worked? Um, and again, those of you that have been here for a while, you've been through this cycle before. What have you done? that has helped you to overcome these summer blahs? I guess I've been here the longest, so I should say something. <laughs> is that you, Lisa? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, usually summer, um, I'm working on back to school. So it would be, well, hitting the schools, number one, for people to enroll. So the last minute people to get their, you know, enrollment dates posted and all that fun stuff. But then back to school, like your, um, you know, everything that you need, like laptops, the mattresses for not just, you know, um, you know, grade school, but college too. So all that barbers and orthodontists and all that happy stuff. Um, what I've been working on recently is working with the chambers, uh, getting uh, for the farmers markets that are going on now through the end of the summer. So getting those promoted. Um, and August is usually a good month for um, end of summer sales, like season sales. So I'm usually seeing people now, or not usually, I am seeing people now for like, um, you know, uh, patio stuff, grills, you know, appliances, um, even like bikes and all that outdoory stuff. Um, I only have two bike shops, so, mm, um, but I'm, uh, that's, and then other than that with higher ed and fall home improvement that I'm working on, that's pretty much my plan. Oh, and also next month, uh, Labor Day is September 5th. So I'm also working on, you know, Labor Day sales and all that stuff. So. Okay. Have you found when you're reaching out to the schools, are you running into 
uh, limited availability, or I mean, you're probably dealing maybe more with like the um, administrative office. I mean, what what are you finding like might help when you're out calling to schools? Is there a time frame that you're that you found in the past that might be better? Is it? Well, no, you know, usually I reach out to them at the big at the end of the school year, just you know, hi, blah blah blah, that kind of fun stuff, and and keep in touch, and then um, throughout the summer. And then, but usually uh, now, the beginning of, of July and through the end of, of August, because they start, you know, with their actual enrolled dates, you know, their schedules and stuff in August. So you'll want to, you know, make sure that you get in front of them and get them, you know, proposals, print and digital, all that kind of fun stuff now, if you haven't okay. already. Okay. All right, well, thanks for sharing that, Lisa. Does anybody have any questions for Lisa? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, Where anybody else want to speak up here? I know, you know, Lisa does have a few years under her belt with this company and with, uh, with doing this, so I know we've got some others out there who have been in sales a while. What do you do to overcome these slow periods? Anybody out there? Hey, hey, Jordan. I'll go. What's going on, Brett? Who said I'll go? I, I just wanted, Jordan, I just wanted you to uh, talk about maybe education too because you were in education uh, as well as, uh, you know, others that are out there. I just wanted to see what you were doing in the summer for education and well, your strategy has been around this time. Um, if this is a time period where you prep more for education or any other periods that are out there and maybe some of your strategies for, you know, kind of getting over the <clears throat> hump of, you know, right in the middle of summer and how everything goes, you know, with the slow periods and whatnot, maybe some of your strategies uh, that you've had. Well, I think the most success I've had is just a year over year. Um, it helps if you have opportunities from last year maybe it was just like a one-time print ad or something maybe you got to them late and now you have a better understanding of like getting a meeting scheduled earlier on and doing a true needs assessment instead of like a, a last minute ad buy and when you can get to a meeting and do a full needs you really have a better opportunity to present a, a good solution instead of you know, just some local display and some print. Um, getting into a conversation where you can talk about product synergy and con conversions, I think that's what's gonna really build up your credibility and it's gonna get to a point where you're actually consulting and not selling. Um, if that makes sense. Um, I know that we talked about educational pathways a year ago and I've been trying to just do it on a local level with the bridge alternative and Howell Public Schools and trying to, um, you know, really present what the deliverables are, what the benefits are, um, what the return on investment is. Um, without a question, the return on investment is there with school of choice right now. Um, I know some, some schools have programs that don't get as much attention or maybe don't realize that there could be an opportunity there for them. Um, the alternative school is about 5,700, I think, was that opportunity, um, which is a pretty good campaign. Um, talking about Facebook advertising and directing website traffic, and I think we touched a little bit on it two weeks ago when we pulled up the lead capture page. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are just all ideas. I mean. Getting the meeting is the most important thing. So like prospecting and getting the meeting. Is... Sure, are there any specific prospects that you go after when, you know, and, and you, I know you wrote a comment here on slow periods. So July tends to be a bit slower month. People are either out of, you know, on vacation or, or people are, are you know, are, are just not available to talk. That's why we wanted to discuss this today and come up with some strategies. Are there any particular targets that you have gone after in the past or even prospecting right now uh, to get those meetings set up or to get um, appointments? 
are there any targets that you're finding that might be more successful right now than others? Um, well, I think uh, elder law attorneys might be a good one, just because mm -hmm. of the, the fact that we do have a local newspaper and we are targeting local areas. And talking about products energy, recently we had a pretty good meeting. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a contract signed next week for like 19K. Um, we pulled an audit. We came back with a rec recommendation. Um, I mean, attorneys have money. I mean, I would be prospecting kind of what uh, was it Lisa that was saying, back to school. I mean, you have dental offices. You have orthodontists. Um, I would start prospecting um, accounts that maybe are slowing down that might have more time on their hands to um, put together a 360 marketing strategy. Um, but you got to go where the money is. So, you know, Brett mentioned yesterday those evergreen kind of businesses where it's just it's not seasonal. They're busy year round. Attorneys, dentists are like that. Definitely. Uh, that definitely falls through. Janie wrote a message about plumbers. Another good option right there. Plumbers are another one to go after. Those businesses that you know are have year round, you know, steady business going. Well, also any business that might have like an immediate need. And that's where like a plumber would come in handy uh, because like I say, if they're not strung up at the top of the search results for areas that they want to target, you know, PPC would be a good recommendation. Um, with Facebook, I recommend that you have likability or, you know, having relevant content, um, make a relevance to the audience that you choose to target. Um, and then, basically getting the idea out there for your products and services. So when they're ready to search for them, you show up at the top of Google and then you have product synergy. And that's kind of like the idea that we had for this local elder law attorney was because they want to focus on Northville and Novi. They're located in Brighton. They show up like towards the top of Google in Brighton, but they're not ranking in the surrounding areas. So like, let's get the idea out there for what they're about on Facebook help them out with their social media channel, kind of paint them a better picture of how to manage social media, get the idea out there, and then people are seeing the idea for what they have to offer, then they go to Google and search for it, they'll show up at the top of the search, and that's kind of the way we presented that. And it could be unique to any other business as well that has an immediate need. Hey, Jordan? It's Steve. Yeah. Uh, don't be putting that elder care out in Novi and Northville. My elder care guy's there. <laughs> Forget those two markets, will you? <laughs> yeah, well, how much is your elder law attorney spending on PPC? They're at 750 a month on PPC and 500 on retargeting. And the numbers are good, but we're in Novi, Northville right now. <laughs> well, we're about to triple that budget. Well, we're like at 2,200 PPC. So. Well, then I'll say it again. <laughs> So make sure you don't do it then. <laughs> we, we went off the of audit. The recommendation was to, you know, to dominate I'm that kidding. space. I'm kidding you, buddy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's another good thing when you're, like, going over deliverables and expectations and you're going over the good, better, best. It's always good to start at the top. Janie taught me that a little bit just because I would always try to find in the middle. But if you start at the top and you say that's the recommendation and you say that you don't want to, like, do the minimum and get minimum results. You want to do what's the recommended amount of ad spend to get the best results for this campaign to get you your return on investment. And just put the hammer down saying that's our recommendation. And, you know, that falls in their court and you get the chance to, you know, read them and see if they balk. And if they go for it, you know, you're looking to have a good win. Yep. Excellent. So. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, Dean, I know that uh, before Jordan spoke up, you were going to say some things too. Did you have anything? that you want to throw. I know you've been doing this for a while as well. And, you know, again, we're looking for some experience in, in uh, you know, helping out some of um, some of the reps who, who may not have been doing this as long. Uh, yeah. Uh, here's, here's what I would do. And here's what I do do. Everybody knows, and, and including every sales manager company everywhere, um, it's, it's very difficult for salespeople to go 24-7, 365 days a year. I mean, in the summertime, it is the worst uh, for that, uh, simply because of the weather and everything to do, and the clients really aren't that interested. But 
what I like to do is, number one, you have to get to your pipeline. You have to get to your goals. You're still a professional, and you still have to sell. And, you know, I, I know this sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's very true. It, um, you're, you're still getting salaries. We're still on, on staff over at the company. And it's just, sometimes you just have to, you know, if you need to take a day or two or three and just kind of relax and half the day. But understand, you have to go after it again, though. I mean, you have to keep going. This is the job of this. It, it's difficult in the summertime. Everybody knows that, but it's your job. And it, it's something that you can't just blow off. And, you know, I always keep my goals on, in mind. I'm on my ASAP every day. I'm looking at it. Where can I improve this one? How can I go up here? I need 500 of this. I need 1,000 of this. And I motivate myself doing that because it is difficult. But what I would tell people, and, and again, just to reiterate, if you do have to, you know, everybody can't go 24-7. So take a day or two, relax, breathe, do whatever you want to do, but focus, refocus back on that. There's all kinds of stuff coming up in the fall that you can refocus on. And Jordan and everybody, you know, uh, Michelle, you guys were all saying the different things that you can focus on, and it really is. In Livingston, we have the People's Choice. I've already sent out the flyers for it. I've, I've had three or four different meetings already, but I've been introducing digital to those people for the first time along with the, the print publication that we have. But the point is, is I, I'm, I'm with everybody else on here. You know, you, you, you do get into a summer blah, but down deep you just have to sit there, look back, and go, you know what, guys? This is our job. This is what you have to do. Suck it up and go do it. Um, and like I said, take a day or two. But, I mean, just do it. I mean, take your day off, breathe a little bit, relax, and then get back into it. But pull your goals so, up all the time. Try to so, attain the goals constantly. So perhaps use some of this time to do a little bit deeper, you know, prep and plan. Does that kind of sound like, you know, maybe Absolutely. where you're heading? Like, I mean, okay. Jordan has some good ideas there. But, you know, everybody, I mean, we're salespeople. We know how to do it. You know, yeah. and, you know, I know J.D. just wrote there, just do it. And that's exactly right. And, and a lot of time I laugh because it's the old Nike commercial that says just do it. But, boy, I'll tell you, it, it is that way. You have to motivate yourself. You don't have an option. This is like a day or two off, great. But you have to motivate yourself. Get out there and do what you got to do. Find the different things. There's all kinds of stuff coming up for fall. Um, but on the other hand, understand, relax a little bit kick back, but then get yourself re regenerated and get out there and do your job. Thanks. Thanks, Dean. Steve, I, I didn't realize that I think you had spoken up before, so if you wanted to add some, please do. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes the voices. So. Yeah, it's not a problem. I was just going to say that um, I was looking for ways to get some revenue into Q3 and found the football page from last year. And uh, so I raised the prices on it, and it's just been really successful. I'm using it as a method to, you know, bridge into the digital conversation. But it's really quick and easy sales. Um, you know, I've already sold a couple grand into it. So it's working out really well bringing it back this year. Excellent. So maybe doing some research on that, the, those past accounts, um, even going back maybe two years, someone who ran two years ago perhaps and, and hasn't run – in a little while that you can revisit, but that's excellent, man. Okay, so hey. can I go? Yes, please. I think that's Janie, right? <laughs> yes. You know, I you, this is just this is probably the number one thing I'm the most passionate about, and um, quite frankly, I have so many bags of tricks I can help anybody that is stalled, or if you truly are in a rut. Q3 traditionally for our industry is the tougher times. And Scott outlined it earlier, so I'm not going to go back into it. But um, the, the benefit of it, if you look at if, if you are diligent and stay at it, you know, um, you're going to find business owners just around like around the holidays. Um, business owners are manning shop because their employees are going on vacation. Um, you, they sometimes, depending on the industry, they're more present. So it's just about smart prospecting. And I, you know, I'm always a big believer that you have got to spend some phone time and some field time, and it has to be a very healthy balance. You, you can get on the phone and you can bust out, you know, 
20, 30, 40, 50 calls, however much, how many, much time you've allotted, you're going to get some calls. And by just simply doing that and having a strategy, poking holes, you know, seasonal, whatever your, you know, discussion is going to be in your lyrics are going to be on the phone, you're going to snatch some appointments. But the goal is, and, and this is, and I think we're talking about brand new business opportunities. I love what Jordan said. I love what everybody said, but, um, you know, going back and resurfacing, cultivating some things that you already have a relationship with and you have that warm opportunity. They know you perhaps, whatever it might be. Um, but you just kind of got to take a minute, set aside time for this. And that's why, you know, um, you know, I feel that I, that we need to build that into your days more often, blocking out time to prospect in the field, blocking out time for you guys to do call outs, you know, maybe right after our calls on Thursday should be just mandatory hour call out, you know, to set up your week. So you're walking in and walking out of your weeks just so solid. So, you know, when Scott gets to the um, page with the, the, you know, segments, that he and Brett discussed, they're spot on, and um, we can come up with a lot more. And you just do segment targeting. I used to make, I make, tried to make fun things happen. If I was in a rut, um, you know, taking candy bars, I would, you know, sweeten the deal and take. I have all, I have a whole page of lyrics, you know, goofy things that you can do. If you're gonna go see contractors, go pick up a three dollar pack of water from Costco and go deliver, you know, ice cold and then a, you know, four dollar cooler and deliver ice cold water to a contractor that is out in the field that said you could meet him out in the field. There's just so many different ideas that you can take as an have in his approach. Um, you just have to find a need for that client and paint the picture of how you can build that solution for them. So, you know, it's not rocket science. I'm not telling you guys anything new. You all know this, but just back to kind of circling back to Dean too, you just got to do it and you got to go way after it and you got to say, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of businesses in Southeast Michigan here that aren't taking a break for summer. They have mouths to feed, they have employees to feed. Um, so someone's there making the decision. You just got to go find it. And there are such, you know, verticals better than others. Like landscape right now, don't, you know, pretty tough time to call them. Plumbers never are, you know, the only time they're heavy season typically is um, if they, you know, like the spring, if there's water breaks, if there's flooding, if, you know, all those kind of things. So um, be diligent, guys. Be diligent and be passionate. I, I'm seeing them. I'm a little nervous, and that's why I sent out that um, email. I, I don't feel the activity is where it needs to be, and our, you know, servicing, our pacing on Salesforce is not where it needs to be. So we just need to kick it into high gear, and everybody needs to ask for help. Grace and Kelly and Brett and Scott, we're all here to help, but it's time. So, you know, I help, you know, I challenge, Scott's got a challenge for you too, but my challenge is after this call, if you do not have an appointment, you get on that phone for an hour and you shut everything else off and you go at it and you set a goal for yourself, whether it's, you know, four appointments, um, depending on who you're calling, if they're warmer leads, if they're cooler leads, but set a goal for yourself and go put it to the side and figure out what your closing ratio is on this, just this day of setting appointments, okay? So um, that's it. That's my two cents. I'll get off the bandstand now. Go get it. Hey, Janie, it's Dean. Uh, just about two seconds and I'm off too, but what I, would, what I would suggest right now for everybody that might be a really good idea is everybody go through a pipeline or go through their pipeline, whether a current customer is running or not, and introduce something brand new like video. If everybody took and did a, like a, either a call out or, a, or, or a contacting your clients and talk about nothing but video with them, number one, it gives you something that will it'll change your attitude and your mindset a little bit about, wow, let's focus on this. This is where it's, a, it's an exciting thing to talk about and it could pique interest from the client. And not only that, but obviously we want to get into a lot more video presentations and advertising anyway. But it might be something that each individual rep can look at, go over the video with your with Scott or with Brett, make sure you got a little bit of understanding of how to do it, and only attack video, period. Just attack 
a certain aspect of one of our products and really start the conversation with this person only go there with them and then it can open up into everything else but it's something that's brand new that everywhere needs to be it'll fire you up as a sales rep to also get a little bit of enthusiasm because video is where it's at right now but it might be something where we can really move a lot of the digital sales we're having today into much more video because it is so prominent and it might help to do that it reinvigorates salespeople to do that but only focus on that just here if we talk video that if, if mr. customer give me two seconds I gotta come over here and talk to you about video you haven't done it yet the whole world's there we need to get you there and it's just all of a sudden your enthusiasm starts going up a little bit more but it's something brand new that you can offer people um, and, and it also invigorate yourself but that's my two cents I'll shut up no don't shut up it's fine that's good advice and, and it's again I, I think you're right Dean I think it's just finding some passion in something and when you can share that conviction with with the client it really is infectious so thank you well I'm gonna move to the next slide which is just the activity guys and and again I know you're out there already doing some of this stuff but what I'd like you to do is as I mentioned earlier it's like thinking outside the box Dean you you mentioned it right when you have a little bit of slow time this is your time to, to dig a little deeper to think a little broader and to kind of plan a little bit further ahead um, Fall's going to be here before we know it, and that's just rush, rush, rush. We know that. So right now, this is that time to kind of think a little broader. So what our activity I'd like to be is I'd like you to consider three brand new customers. And by brand new, I mean think outside of the box you're currently in. Go after some people that you've really either thought about going after or, or, or maybe never even considered, but, but try to think of brand new people who you really haven't reached out to before. And I know in your territories, you guys scour that area, but I'm asking you to try and think a little different, a little broader here. Just take a little time here and just go a little deeper. Some possible targets. I know we've already mentioned dentists and attorneys. Industrial manufacturing, why not, okay? Furniture stores, right now, you know, patio furniture and things like that are selling but they're also, you know, a good target because they can be evergreen. Banking, financial, any suggestions you guys have, please throw them out right now. But, again, we just want you to think a little bit broader, a little bit more outside of the box. It doesn't matter. You might be passing a party store that you every day that you don't even know. They actually carry, like, a huge selection of wines or, or, or something special, you know, or, or just maybe just pop in and, and – and, uh, you know, talk to somebody for a, a business you really don't know a lot about. So do a little bit of prep and plan, find out about them. I'm just asking you to think a little bit different here. So do some prep and plan to find a decision maker and contact person for each of those targets. So again, three to five brand new, think outside the box type customers. And just by tomorrow morning, if you could just email Brett and I with maybe who you reached out to and, 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 and any kind of results you might have got if you did get a hold of somebody or what your plan to get a hold of that person might be, we'd love to share that with the team because that could really help energize everybody as well. So it, it's not a hard activity. And again, I'm not, we're not saying you guys aren't doing this stuff already because I know you are, but this is that moment where trying to think a little differently can really help yield some results. Brett, you want to add anything at all this or? Uh, no, that's good. Um, I mean, everyone out there, I think we all know and understand that every time we get to about, you know, the beginning to the end part of July or even be, even in August that everyone can uh, relax and slow down. And again, like Dean said, uh, there's knowing that and knowing that that's what happens. Um, it's a good thing just to be aware of it. And like you said, if you want to take a day off or you know, if you have some time that, you know, for your vacation time you need to take off, maybe you need to refocus and re-energize, that's a good thing to do. But know that every, you're not the only one who's going through this and that everyone's going through it. Um, it's just the nature of our industry. Um, you know, it is slower during these time periods. And so we kind of reflect what the market does on some level. But <clears throat> be smart about it, too, and realize that that's a part of the industry and then that's what happens. So know also that there is stuff coming out for fall and that it's out there and um you know combat it the best way that uh the best way that you can and that's why we're going give them feedback and get some of the activity out there we're not again we're not trying to just create an assignment for assignment's sake we do know that this is a slower time period and that uh 
everyone's aware of that so we're just trying to give a little bit more boost in the uh, activity knowing that we are in this um, you know the dog days of summer like Scott said and uh, it is good so let's just all try to support each other be aware of you know what's out there and give us some recommendations and advice and um, um, you know we can all get through it but it's uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing just be aware of what's going out there so all right guys so and also if you're on the road you never know you might catch all those Pokemon for Pokemon Go just don't do it while you're driving <laughs> so, um, all right. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. And if you have any questions, now is the time to bring them up. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and close out this session. And uh, and again, thanks for your your attentiveness, and thanks for those people who contributed this morning as well. I know sometimes early in the morning, you know, getting on that mic and talking is a little challenging, but we appreciate it. So, okay, no questions. All right, well, guys, have a good day out there. Stay cool. I know that the heat wave is starting uh, today, so uh, stay cool, and, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, thanks, everyone. Have a good one.